Well, hello there and welcome. My name is Danielle Rochford and I'm an online grade seven and eight teacher. I've been integrating Google into my classroom for years now. Google Classroom, Slides, Forms, Docs, you name it. It's all the Google tools that I love to use. Let's hop on over to the computer and take a look at how we can use Google Forms to customize learning experiences for students. A built-in way that Google Forms has to give some very specific feedback to students is the ability to give different responses for correct answers versus incorrect answers, where you can even include links and um, video instructions to go along with it if it's an incorrect answer. So if a student was to go in and complete their form, answer each question, submit, and then click on view score. This is where the students will be able to see any feedback that we've given them. And this is awesome because it does help to um, personalize things, but there is a way that we can do this so that the feedback is immediate and students are able to work on mastering the concepts. So here we have the very same Google form, but this time I have added an extra section. And so what we can do in our uh, multiple choice question, uh, down at the bottom, we can make the choice to go to a section based on an answer. So we can specify if they choose a specific response, it will go to a certain place. For all of the incorrect answers, we will choose for them to go to the let's try again section. For the correct answer, we'll make the choice for them to go to the congratulations section. So in the let's try again section, um, you can provide some additional um, video instruction for your students so that they can learn more about the concept before they try again. You can make the selection to go right back to that first question so that they have to try it again. I hope you've been able to learn something new from this quick tip. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.